In this exercise, you'll learn how you can uh, use the techniques we've been using so far, which is to invoke the jQuery method, pass in a selector that we now know returns a, an array of these elements, and then perform some sort of action on the selected items or elements. Then add to that list another set of elements and perform a different action. So this prevents you from having to write more jQuery to make the first selection and perform some sort of action, go back and make the second selection and make some sort of different action. So we're basically uh, making a chain of elements that we'd like returned to us by the jQuery method. I've opened up exercise underscore one dot HTML and I'm going to underneath the existing calls to the jQuery method, call the jQuery method again and I'll be returning li tags whose parent is a ul tag. So before we go ahead and invoke the dot and invoke some sort of action, let's take a closer look at what this selector is going to return for us. So it is li elements that are children of ul. So if we look at our list of fruits, we shouldn't expect this jQuery selector to return apples, apricots, bananas, and so forth because they are li tags, but their parent is not a ul tag, which is exactly what we're specifying. The parent of apples, apricots, bananas, and berries is this div tag. What we will get from this selector, however, are these li tags, strawberries, blueberries, and raspberries, whose parent is an li tag called berries. We'll also get these li's because their parent is also a UL element, and the same here. So now that we know what we're selecting, let's add the method that we'd like to invoke. And this method is called add class, to which you pass a CSS class, and ours is called underline fruit. So we have a CSS block here at the top, with a couple of class selectors, make italic, which simply sets the font style to italic, and underline fruit, which we just invoked, which underlines using the text decoration property. So the add class method specifies a CSS class to add to the items we've selected in the jQuery selector. In addition to the li tags that are children of ul, we can use the add method and add another selector. We still have to quote it. And in this case, it's going to be the fruit list. That's the div that you see here, whose ID is fruit list. And it's li children. So we've modified our selector to add these elements. And then we'll revisit add class and perform a different action here. We'll add the class make italic to the new selector. So when you save this file and preview it in the browser, you should see a number of style changes here. First, the li tags that were children of ul were underlined. Then we added to that initial selection with the add method all of the li children of the fruit list, and we invoked a CSS style called make italic. So all of the li children, including those in the initial selector, are now italic. So this is a result of a jQuery method called add, which adds a new selector to the existing selector. 